on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com here. So today running the Rage, the, this is a 1.6 scale. It's, it's the RZX and it's run on 6S. So it's got two Venom batteries in there. They're 5,000 milliamp, both of them and they're 50C discharge. And obviously it's 3S. So running two 3S batteries in here. So anyway, let's get this thing going. See how fast this thing goes. I'll put a GoPro inside of it as well. So hopefully we can get a, an idea of how fast it goes on 6S. Depending, I did change the wheels on it as well, so these are not the stock ones. This ought to be fun. What's up? <laughs> there you go, that's good. Now huh? give, huh? give him some exercise. <laughs> You're like, oh, I can't. I got the little camera that's in there. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Full throttle. Woo. It's the wobbles on top end there. All right, guys. First off, I want to say big thanks to the people that uh, had asked me. Real nice folks had asked me like, hey, do you mind if our dog chases your car? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, he's not gonna bite it. And they're like, nah, he's not gonna bite or anything like that. So that was really cool to get our four-legged friend out there running after the car. So that was cool. Anyway, uh, as far as what I've done with it or things that, you know, to kind of let you guys know would be the tires. These aren't the stock tires. Anyhow, you guys know that. Here's the stock tires over here. I was figured because I was going to run this thing on pavement that these would be better tires than it would be those knobby tires there. They're going to wear down. They're not going to give me as much traction. Now, as far as the radio goes too, um, three AA batteries. It, yeah, it is plastic here. Nothing fancy, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, what I will say too is that straight out of the box, no adjustments. I, did, I didn't have to do anything to it. It just went straight. Everything worked on it. it was cool. It did about 57 miles an hour. Yeah, it did have some wobbles to it Could it go faster? Of course it could go faster These are the these are the stock tires that are with it. So they're a little bit taller a little bit lighter um, They're not as wide So the problem was when I went ahead and want to run this thing on pavement I figured these are gonna give me a little bit more traction. They're a little bit more on the flat side So that would be that's ideal now as far as the tires go. These are just SRC's SRCs and these are terrain crushers, I believe. So uh, these were sent to me by a fellow YouTuber named Gap Review from A to Z. So if you check them out if you guys don't already know about them. But yeah, big shout out to him because I always will shout him out if I'm using these tires. I just want to let people know that hey, he was cool enough to send me some tires. So yeah, you know, they were used, but they were gently used tires. So that was really cool of him. So thank you again. Now as far as the car goes itself, you know, being this is the Rage. This I always want to say CRX for some reason because I'm so used to it's Honda stuff. But anyway, the RZX. So extreme sport buggy. I would say this thing's definitely extreme as far as when it comes to the power that's in it. Now some of you guys were saying about, oh, it's not gonna be able to put the power down. Uh no. It'll put the power down. It does wheelies too. Just on drive surface, no issues on that part of it. This problem is stopping, right? When you start to go, power's transferring to the weight. There's already a lot of weight in the rear. So just like your normal rear wheel rear wheel drive car you know that when you start to go the, the weight transfers to the front that's why it, it's harder for front wheel drives to get more traction so they have to do more to it to try to get traction because all the weight wants to shift to the rear so with that um, yeah I would just say 
the stopping is the issue, right? Because once you start to stop, all the weight starts to transfer to the front. That's why we have, in our real cars, we have more braking power in the front than we do in the rear. It's typically 60-40. So we got the bigger disc you always see in the front, and then you got the little bit smaller discs or drums in the rear. I mean, why? Because a lot of work, because of the weight transfer. So that's why, so what happens on this one is the same thing. Since I'm only using rear wheel drive, I can only stop with re the rear wheels. So what happens, like I said, that weight transfers, and now all of a sudden I'm having a little bit of a problem trying to gain traction to slow the car down. So when you're doing like 60 miles an hour, keep in mind, you're gonna need a little bit, you're gonna need, I would say, almost double the space. I kind of left myself a little bit more room to slow down. So I'm like, oh crap, it's only rear wheel drive, and you know, it's a little bit sandy surface sometimes, uh, and it started to skid a little bit. So I had to kind of slow it down, and also just kind of, get it around a corner a little bit just to kind of get rid of some of that. Uh, I didn't want to lock up the brakes on it or anything like that because that's going to be bad. So I didn't want it to traction roll or flip the vehicle over. Now it is pretty heavy. It's like 15 pounds anyhow. Uh, and I did have the GoPro sitting in here. It, you know, I have it mounted to the, the console in the center. So definitely nice on that part of it. I would say as far as getting to the batteries, you just got four little spots to, you know, just undo here you just move the little tab like that and uh, you just do it four times and just you know take the little pins out of here which I do like it so I just took the two pins out this is cool I like that how it has that little pop top to it and then as far as here let's go ahead and do the other side so I already did these so you can see how I just did that and then up up in the way so yeah these are two these are the two 3S LiPos, those are the Venom batteries, the 5050C discharge graphene batteries. So just running the little Dean's connectors that are on there because that's what comes with it stock. Yeah, and everything stayed pretty cool in there. I did touch the motor while I was running it back and forth a little bit. It was getting kind of hot, so I just said, oh, I'm gonna let it cool down. Just using my finger just to kind of get an idea like, oh, okay, that's too, that's too hot. So, you know, I didn't bring my temp gun for whatever reason, I just totally forgot. But yeah, I like it. And it does have a gyro that's in here and it's not gonna be able to, I did show it yesterday on the live, but it's hard to see it in here. Let me see if I can, you can see that little circuit board next to, you know, right here, the red one with the little, I think that looks like a, a hex fly as far as when it comes to the servo, looks the same as what they put in the red cat. And then you got that little red board there. So that one, I'm not sure if you can adjust that as far as it's, you know, when you have the radio itself and it's got the dual rate, if by adjusting the dual rate that does anything with a gyro to just kind of turn it down or what. But again, I didn't have to adjust any trim settings or anything like that. The thing just tracks straight right from the get-go. So yeah, definitely happy with this vehicle. I, it's a great price point. Um, so if you want to, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. It's a heck of a deal. And yeah, I think it's, I ain't problems with it, man. I think it's really cool. And I wouldn't say you would want to bash it. I did do a video yesterday on it and somebody was asking like, oh, if you compare the shredder right here, because this is like 359, it's like 360, right? This one is up to about, it's like 389 as of now. Um, you know, as far as which one would you go with? Well, what are you going to be doing? Are you going to be street running it? Like, because uh, this is 6S, this is 4S. This is two wheel drive, this is four wheel drive. Okay, this is like, you're almost comparing two different animals all together. Because you're doing two wheel drive, now you, they are one six scales, both of them, but I think the shredder might be a little bit longer because it's got the wing on it. But I would just say, if you're looking, oh, I wanna just be on the street, I wanna run this thing back and forth, uh, you know, what have you, I'll take it off road a little bit here and there, but I'm not really looking to jump or anything like that, perfect, this would be a great vehicle for you. But if you're looking to jump and everything like that, I would say if you're just comparing these two, I would say this is gonna be your basher choice. For jumping, I think it just it just jumps in the air pretty flat. It's a little bit, it's lighter for sure. It's absolutely lighter than this vehicle here. It's got a lot more plastic on it. You know, you have this piece here, which is the plastic as far as your Lexan, but then you have this hard plastic right underneath it. So it's reinforced there. It's like all this stuff here too. There's a lot of plastic to it. Thick aluminum chassis that's on it as well. It's pretty beefy. So uh, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of weight. There's a lot of power that's sitting in here too. And it's got that 2350 KV motor that's in there, 160 amp, let's say rebranded hobby wing system that's in it. It's got some power, man, 3S to 6S. So that's only 2S, I think it's 2S to 4S, something like that. So 
Yeah, this one is definitely faster than that one. Absolutely, hands down. Um, as far as straight line, I, who would win out of the hole? I don't know. That one, I mean, I just punch it and it just goes. This one here, you're gonna have to ease into it just a little bit, because it did some wheelies and stuff like that too, because it got a lot of traction in the rear. So, yeah. But other than that, yeah, I would just say <laughs> just to each their own. Just kind of keep in mind as far as that, you know, it is rear wheel drive, but it's cool. I like it, dig it. Um, two thumbs up, definitely recommend this vehicle. I think it's cool. Um, but anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these, but we got loads of thousands and thousands of products and we're trying to update the website uh, as, of, as we're talking right now. Just trying to get new inventory that's in there along just with uh, fixing some glitches that we've had with inventory levels. So that's another thing that we're working on now with the developer. I mentioned it yesterday too, or in the day before. So we're still trying to work on some glitches that are happening with the OMGRC. So if by chance you have any problems with something, something's out of stock, just go ahead and give us a call. The phone number's right on the top. You can always text us as well, email us, it's all good. And then we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. And uh, yeah. We'll see you on the next video. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching.